So in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, show the path for any item selected. I usually like to use uh, columns. These columns can be arranged to view them in alphabetical order, date, um, in different modes. But um, when I use columns, what happens is if I have too many folders or if I have an item completely um, inside a folder so I can't see the source the whole path so I go from Macintosh all the way to here but if I want to see it what I can do really quick is just press command option P so now it gives me the full path and I can copy this whole item or take a picture and I can send the location of it. Um, for it to appear is I'm pressing command option P in the finder or you go to view and you show it. Once you show it, it gives you the option to hide it. So I'm just gonna hide it right now and I'm gonna show it again. So this way I'm never lost in any folder no matter how deep an, an item or a file is located. I have had files that are maybe in 30 folders in deep so this uh, helps me a lot what it does also too like let's just photoshop so right now i'm in i have three hard drives i'm in actually using this one each one each hard drive has its own operating system and they're all different. So if I'm trying to find something, right now it's telling me that this file right here, I have multiple copies of it, but it's actually on one of the hard drives that is not, a, is not a active, sorry. So I have to, I wanna find the one that is active, so all I have to do is AE OpenGL. So just the whole name. Right now it's telling me that it's only active in there. So, so I have one, two, two files. One on Macintosh and the other one on Mac HD. So then I can, if I wipe the system, which is a HD one that I'm not using, I'll be okay um, because the one that I tend to use is this one. Right now what I'm doing, I'm transitioning everything from a standard drive to a SSD, SSD drive and I'm going one by one and putting it all together and setting it up. So just a, again, a quick tip that I really like using is uh, seeing the source path of my end location not only for files that I know where they're at, but trying to find items and knowing exactly where they're at.